So this is all fine, but it starts off simple. Have a look at 4A if you haven't cast your eyes there, and let's try to unpack this one. Year 8 is holding a disco to raise money, and then it starts to talk about the cost of the tickets, um, the cost of running the disco, and then it talks about this profit that they want to make, $300, okay? And finally it says, let N stand for the number of tickets sold. Hmm. Now, in silence this time, I want you to have a think on your own. I'm just going to do this. I'm going to give you all that 30 seconds. I want you to think about how you would write the equation. And I want you to write, commit anything to paper right now. I'll give you 30 seconds. Don't speak. I want you to think about it on your own. Jot it down. And then in 30 seconds, we'll come back together. Stop. Let's have a discussion for this, okay? Now, I wonder if, and I'm actually hoping we get lots of different answers. I wonder if anyone's brave enough to suggest to me, not their answer, but their initial equation. Louise, do you want to start us off? Well, I didn't really write an equation, but I started off with 300 plus 130. Okay, so how much money they want to get. hit pause on that. So you've got, a, you've got a way through the solution, the way through the question. There's many ways, but before we get to that, I want to try and flex this skill of building an equation that we can then solve. I'm not doubting that you'll get to an answer, but I want to see if we can do this translation step. Harry, do you want to suggest something? Uh, 5n equals 130 plus 300. 5n equals 130? Yeah, plus 300. Plus 300. Okay. So, hands up if you had exactly the same equation as Harry. Hands up. So I see, I see three hands. Okay, thank you, hands down. There's a lot of hands that didn't go up. Did someone have a different equation? Leah? 5n minus 130. 5n minus 130 equals 300. 300. Okay, did anyone have what Leah wrote down as theirs? Okay, interestingly, I have my hand up because that's the one I had written down. Did someone have a different one again? No, I Yeah, go ahead, Merrick. So, because I feel like 130 is part of the $300. Hmm. So, you're now starting to think about which one are we going to go for. Before I do have that discussion, we're all going to have that discussion. I just wonder, are there any other ones to... Add to the list. William, did you have something? 5n equals 430. 5n equals 430? Is that where you went to? Okay, good. All right, so I was different. All right, anyone have a different equation as their first line? Not where you went, just the very first line you wrote. Are you just stretching, Louise, or is that a maybe? No, maybe. Okay, go ahead. 430 divided by 5 equals Is that what you had written down? Yeah. Okay, all right. All right, now here's what I want to ask all of you. I now want you to look at all of them together, all of them together, and I want to make a comparison, okay? Which one's right? All of them. They're all right in a different way, right? They're all right in a different way. In fact, um, interestingly, as we wrote them all down, I think we're going to get the same answer out of all of them. Has someone gone ahead and worked out an answer? N equals, Anve? I said 86. 80. 86, do I have some agreement? David, I think I heard you say 86 as well. Okay, anyone else? Yeah. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and wager. I'm just going to double check here. Make sure I don't tie myself in a knot. I, I think we're going to get 86 out of all of these. I think we're going to get 86 out of all of these, right? Now, the question is, well, which one should we start with? Now, Merrick, I'm going to come to you now because you had a thought about this. You said the 130... You said it was part of the 300. Can you explain what you mean by that? Because he said profit, they want to make is $300. So I assume 130 is part of the 300. The 130 is part of the 300? Yep. Yep, okay. All right, now, interesting. I want to ask everyone else on their thoughts. Is the 130 part of the 300? If it is, why? If not, why not? I'm interested in the reason. Okay, Harry, you're like, you're like totally shaking your head at me. Can you justify your thought? They, um, it costs 130 to run the disco, but they also want to make a profit of 300. So they've got to um, add the extra 300 along with the 130. Okay, that's, you just said a really important word there, which was the word extra, right? Which I think is a word that's not in the question, but it is implied, right? The word profit, profit, it implies that it's more than you've got to cover your running costs first, and then this is a thing on top of that. Does that make sense? In fact, I think you literally did that with your hands. Like, it's extra, okay? So, in fact, the 130 and 300 are separate, and that's why we're adding them here. Lee, I think, was it you who had this one? Yeah. Or you, yep, yep. Um, well, why, why this, yeah? Because of running this guy, 
it would just be subtracted from the total amount that they sold. So to me, it kind of looks like the 300 is what they want to make, but the 130 is like a must pay. Okay. So it's a, yeah, it's just like separate. Fantastic. So you've already worked out, hopefully, since we all end up here, we're all different shades of correct here. So it's not as though one of these is correct and the rest are wrong. Um, but I think what Leah said was very instructive. This is kind of like money in. Like if you're year eight, you're doing this. You're getting people, are like giving you money, right? Five N. For every ticket, you get five dollars. Yeah? But then this is not money that comes in. It's money that goes out. You then have to give that to someone, and that's why the sign is different. Okay? Now, it's worth saying you would go straight from this equation to that one, and then I think we'd end up here, and then we'd get to n. Okay? But importantly, what I need you to really think clearly about, and this comes out in all the questions, so that's the last example I'm going to talk through on the board, um, you have to know really clearly and be able to argue why it is that that's got a minus sign, or that's division, or that's multiplication. Okay?